This is the video for the Capricorn Partial Lunar Eclipse Full Moon that is in effect for about four months. The energy that we're going to be working with, Universal Collective, and how we can best utilize it for our lives and our paths ahead. Welcome and greetings. My name is Edward, psychic medium, animal communicator, your Soul Messenger host, assisting us all, including myself, to live, love, and manifest a life that is soul intended for us to live this lifetime. Let's get busy. This video is part of the series of videos for Medium Tarot TV Plus Feed Your Soul video subscription service. Go to my website, EdwardRegasta.community, link Medium Tarot TV. There are example videos such as this and where you can subscribe. Okay, so first suggested viewing for the current year energy, Zodiac Year 2019. It's titled Zodiac Year 2019, April 5th, 2019 through March 23rd, 2020. Ordinary Human, go to my website, evidregasta.community, and then go to your Zodiac sign link. The video is there with the theme healing song, Ordinary Human. For the month, current month energy, and for the solar eclipse, current solar eclipse videos, the month energy is titled Medium Tarot TV plus June 21st, solar month tone, July 21st, 2019, Leap of Faith. That video and the video for the solar eclipse, Medium Tarot TV plus July 2nd, solar eclipse, tone, December 25th, 2019, A Matter of Trust. Both of those videos and the theme healing songs are on my website, evidentregasta.community, link Medium Tarot TV. Check them out, please. First, so here we will continue with the current week energy. Though everything we discuss in this video is going to be in influence from July 16th through November 11th, 2019 for about four lunar cycles. Okay, so the current week energy is July 16th through the 23rd, and this is the energy of want and desire. And it is also the astrological influence of the planet Venus in Zodiac Cancer. Now there, we're working with, even though this is an Earth sign, full moon, Capricorn, we're working with a lot of water energy here. Part of our zodiac year energy, we have the influence of the planet Mercury in zodiac Cancer. That's the mind. Now this is the heart, Venus. So having our heart and mind working with a water energy, hmm, very intuitive, very instinctual. Okay. That's where, so where to follow our hunches. Absolutely. So we have the energy of want and desire. This is very much an energy of partnership. It can be friendship. It can be co-workers. It can be roommates. And then, of course, it could be love partners as well. Whatever we want it to be, it's in the air. Joining together with someone else is definitely in highlight. So what type of partnership or union would you like to have? What are you working on? What are you healing? Since this is a full moon, then of course a lunar eclipse puts a spotlight on it, makes it much it's magnified, much more stronger. Do we need to heal from a partnership or union or collaboration? from the past? If so, allow yourself to do so. And then when we get to the day energy, that holds the key of how we are to do this, if it feels proper. There's also an energy of healing, though, with this union. We learn a lot from what is termed our opposites. Each person brings 
their unique skills and talents and vibe to the table. Then they work in harmony. But what do we truly want and desire? Are we in our own way of going after what we truly want and desire? This lifetime, go big or go home. We're going to build upon that. There's also an energy of an animal familiar mixed in for those who like to work with animals, our animal companions, as I call them. And animals usually are a good judge of character, just saying. All right, they pick up on energy of people, the energy going on within. So before we move on to the day energy, I just want to say the astrological influences that we're working with. For the zodiac year 2019, we have a Neptune-like influence and Pisces-like influence, both having a water influence there. And then the other energy for the zodiac year is the planet Mercury and zodiac Cancer. For the current month, and since it falls on this day, it carries the tone for the next four months, next four lunar cycles, we once again have that Neptune, Venus, no, Neptune, Pisces energy. Though that did bring something up. Energy. And also the second part of the month energy is the moon in Libra. So if you have... Mercury and Zodiac Cancer, if you have Libra Moon, you're activated, empowered, and are triggered. You can certainly look to see where Neptune is in your astrological chart and where Pisces is as well to see what's being highlighted or brought to the surface because there's a double influence once again. So I slipped and said Neptune Venus. That means healing either, no, it is, healing deception with love, either from ourselves, like we didn't want to see the truth, wearing rose-colored glasses, or downright deception. We can heal that so we can have our union of choice. And again, like I said, any type of partnership or union is fair game, whatever we truly want and desire. All right. So now let's move on to the day energy. And this is where this holds the key for our healing. Usually does, but this is very specific. The day energy for Tuesday, July 16th. So here we have the Capricorn full moon and partial lunar eclipse at 5.38 p.m. Eastern and then adjust the time to where you are on the globe. For those who are astrologically inclined, it is at Capricorn 24 degrees. All right. And the color of the day is black. All right. Now, the day energy. This is a playful, a youthful, a creative, even perhaps spiritual energy. Just like with the weak energy. We are once again working with a water energy, the element of water, love, passion, creativity, spirituality. This is particularly the water signs youth. So youth is usually 25 years old or younger, give or take a few years, you have to have some point, have a cutoff. The water signs, zodiac cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces once again. So there's a double influence here, if not triple influence of Zodiac Cancer. And there's a double, actually a triple influence of Pisces. Okay. Cancer, Zodiac Cancer is the crab. They move sideways, not direct, like typically. Like an Aries would, like a ram would. And Pisces is the fish the most sensitive sign of the zodiac? Love, compassion, 
very deep. Sorry, wasn't paying attention. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, sorry about that. Computer went to sleep. So Pisces being very loving, compassionate. It's as deep as you go, as sensitive as you go. So we're working with our sensitivity. We're working with our instincts. Okay. Now this is the energy of the inner child. So this is where, if necessary, we will receive our healing. And it could be a deep healing or wound from our childhood or even a past life, if you resonate with that. So there is a meditation that I recommend to my clients. It's called Magical Child working with the energy of our inner child. And then there's another set of, of uh, meditations, guided meditations, having to do with healing the inner child. It's a deeper healing. Because sometimes we need that. So the energy is out there if you seek it. If you would like to know about either of those sources of meditations, just Go to my website, everettregasta.community, and go to link, I believe it would said, say, yeah, look it up. I think it would say contact. Yeah, go to link contact, you can leave me a message. And I'll gladly point you in the direction. The Magical Child should be still $7 to download. It's not for me. And the series of videos for the deeper healing, I don't really know how much they are, but I wish you can find out. So like I said, playful, creative energy, favoring the arts, whatever you gravitate toward. That can be drawing, painting, music, dancing, creating, think creating. Other ways that we can work with our inner child energy is spending time with our animal companions. And I do find that this energy sometimes does represent an animal companion or familiar. If we have an emotional resonance with an animal and they respond to us as well, odds are they could be a familiar. So this is an energy to tap into for healing, for play, overall wellness. Wellness and also for abundance when we get to the Psychic Insight theme for this Capricorn Full Moon Lunar Eclipse. Also for abundance, which would include love and good old finances, money. The inner child often carries the key. Indeed. And the song that was chosen for this theme healing song brings back childhood memories, childlike energy and wonder. Okay, now let's see if there's anything else I want to say about that. Uh, this also could represent a vision board, doing a vision board, if that's something that you would like to do. Envisioning what you would like to create, attract, manifest. This also could represent art therapy. There's many different possibilities here. All right, let's move on. Let's move on to the Psychic Insight theme for the Capricorn partial lunar eclipse full moon. Capricorn 24 degrees. The energy that we're working with is work and job. Work and job. It implies money finances, because we usually don't work for our health. So money is an exchange of energy. If we block it by holding on, having fear, having resistance of spending it, we actually block the flow of money coming into our lives. Go figure. But it's true. 
having a creative approach to our work, mm -hmm. playful approach to our work, when possible, yes. Creative perspective, yes. So are you happy with your current work job? Are you happy with the way you make money? If not, this is energy is going to weigh on you and grate on you and it will be like sleeping with like a weight on your chest, a little literal weight on your chest. Now there's also an energy of being aware of all of our possibilities. If we are over-focused on work, job, and or money, it's just as bad as being, or unproductive, as being under-focused. Because if we're over-focused, we're missing out. So that energy of the inner child, the playful, creative energy, would bring us back into the moment. That's where all the magic happens. Now, I just want to backtrack a bit with that youth energy of the water signs, Zodiac, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, regardless if we are a water sign or not, or if we're, you know, youth or not, considered youth or not, we can tap into that energy. And by connecting or reconnecting with our inner child, we'll do just that. Now, with the with this Psychic Insight theme, energy of work and job, here is the energy of abundance, which is a large umbrella, including love, not just finances, good old money. So this is a time to re-examine our work, our job, how we make money, and if we are truly happy. So what do we want and desire? What is our dream job? This is a time to investigate and put some energy into. We have a four month span here. So, get busy. All right, now let's move on to the theme healing song. Well, I didn't say what the astrological influence of this was, of the Psychic Insight theme. That is actually Capricorn Sun. So all Capricorn sun signs are activated, empowered, and or triggered. All right. Very well. Now, the theme healing song. What I received, it had to do something with, with work, but it also had to have a playful energy connected to it. So what I received was whistle while you work. So that comes from the first full full-length feature film, cartoon, 1937, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs by Walt Disney and Company. Now, it's just interesting to the premiere, or when it was released, the premiere was December 21st, 1937. What I find interesting about that is that it is 75 years prior to the official beginning of the Age of Aquarius, which was December 21st, 2012. I just find that interesting. If you're into numbers, you'd find that interesting as well. 75 years prior. All right, so Whistle While You Work. Okay, it's a fun song. It's telling you to enjoy what you're doing as the time passes, okay? So, I wanted to find a fun version of it. And I came up with, let's see, one, two, three. Came up with four versions. I don't know what version I'm going to put on the website, but it will be one of these four. So I would say the oldest, so since the song came out in 37, I would say the oldest version would be it I would I would imagine it would be considered big band Larry Clinton and his orchestra featuring B Wayne so that's probably late 30s or early 40s 
and it was known as one of the songs utilized for World War II. I really like the vibe of that song. And I wanted to use a female energy as well. Then found a very fun version from the Supremes, good old Supremes. I would imagine it would be at some point in the 60s. I really do not know, but they did a version of the Supremes, Diana Ross and Supremes did a version of Whistle While You Work. Tons of fun. That was really lots of fun. Then there is the version that you can hear on the Magic Kingdom carousel at probably Walt Disney World. That's a fun version, of course. And there's also a version of two birds, cockatiels, or well, there's more than two, but whistling whistle while you work to get in the animal companions. And then I guess a more contemporary or modern take on this would be Levels by Avinci, if I'm saying that properly. And he released this video 2011. I don't know exactly when that was released, but that's when this video, the actual video was released on YouTube. So there are the songs and the energy that we are working with. Levels, watching the video has to do with just breaking out at, having to do at work and just saying, I'm just gonna enjoy myself. So check all those versions out. And I guess I'd like to say thank you for joining us. And until next time we connect, you be well, take care, stay inspired, keep well, keep happy. You can go to my website at rivergossip.community, link Medium Tarot TV. This video will be there. One of those theme healing songs will be there as well. And also where you can subscribe to the video subscription service. You can also have a psychic reading with myself and my guides. Been quite busy lately, so my newsletter has not been going out, but hopefully at some point in the near future, it will continue. And then subscribe to video subscription service. So have a great lunar eclipse. Be happy with the type of work that you are doing and the type and how you make money. And definitely connect or reconnect with your inner child. And if you can whistle, go for it. All right, you take care. Thanks.